Hey guys, what's up? The Fish here with part two of our Let's Play of Prince of Persia on the Amiga. Uh, last we left off, we just played through the first two levels. Uh, many fails were had along the way, but we made it. We're here. We're on level three. And we have about 45 minutes left to complete the game. Now things get hotter from here on in, so... Uh, that's not good for me. Uh, things have been tough already. But we'll see what we can do. We'll do our best, and I'm going to get started right away here. We've actually got 44 minutes left to complete the game. Ten more stages to go. And let's not go that way. <laughs> Those guillotines, they are pretty tough. They take a little bit of timing to get through, and as I'm sure you've seen if you've seen the first part, timing right now isn't my strong point. So we're gonna go this way. I think I remember this level, actually. And if I do, I'm not looking forward to uh, a bit that's coming on. Yes, I do remember this level. Okay. Spoilers. Uh, there's a difficult bit coming, but I, I won't spoil it quite yet. I'm going to take my time going across these jumps. Uh, because time's kind of a luxury I have. No, well, not really, but... And now, we're opening a gate. A gate that's going to start closing as soon as I jump off this pad. And I have to run across the level, jumping over all these holes to go get through it. Great. So let's just go. You can hear the gate closing already. Run, little prince, run! Keep running! Jump! Grab it! Now get, get in there! Oh, that was close. <sighs> okay. That, look at that guy. Uh, better get out of here while we still have our meat. Oh, great. Guillotine. Now, the easiest way to get through these when you're not in a hurry is to step up to them, get your eyebrows trimmed, and just step through. You know, if you don't have the time to do that, though, that can be that can be an issue. But we have a little bit of time, and we've opened the exit. Now we just have to go get to it. So I'm guessing we go back. Now, on the last video, I was talking a little bit uh, about the history of the game, how it was released on the Apple II first, and later part it's the Amiga, but it's worth uh, telling you guys as well that... Oh, <laughs> I need to not... I need to try not to talk while I do these more difficult bits, but we're on stage three, so we now have mid-level autosaves, which is very much amazing. <laughs> uh, but they are few and far between, but... We'll enjoy them when we can get them. Let's just try and jump through this thing. Yay, that worked. So, I'll pick up what I was talking about in a minute, once we have gotten past this uh, guillotine part. But for now, we're just going to focus, get our head in the game, and try not to die anymore in this level. It's a short level, but it is brutalizing me right now. We're going to take our time here. We're going to walk up to it and just step through. Like that. And there's a skeleton! Now the thing with the skeletons, you notice on the bottom right there, he doesn't have a health bar. We cannot kill this guy, but we can defeat him by knocking him off the edge here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to maybe climb down here. Uh, yep, we'll fight this guy again. Get up, Prince. Draw your sword. I noticed that loose panel over there. We can knock him down. And then the exit... 
should be right around the corner. <laughs> I like the way the prince puts his sword away before the guy's even fallen. He's like, yeah, you're dead. And hopefully the exit will be right here, and we will be well on our way to level two. Uh, I'm sorry, level four. Uh, victory music. So to pick up what I was talking about, it after it was ported to the Amiga in uh, 1990, it was ported to pretty much every system you can think of. Uh, it was on the Atari, the Sega Master System, the Sega Genesis, the Nintendo, and the Super Nintendo. And we've got a change of decor. We are out of dungeons, we're now in the palace itself. Uh, but, <laughs> but more recently, the, well, relatively recently, the game was released uh, on the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo Wii, so if you have either of those systems, check it out. I don't know where to get it from, but I'm sure if you're resourceful you can find it. I don't really know where I'm going here, so we're just going to... Oh, get off that. This palace is extraordinarily dangerous. Oh, okay. I was going to go down there, but apparently we don't need to. Uh, there was a sequel, Prince of Persia, The Shadow and the Flame. Oh, another health upgrade. Guarded by the giant steel teeth of death. Um, released in 1993, the sequel uh, came out on Mac and PC. Uh, I don't know if it was ported to any other systems. May have been. Don't fall off. Thank you. Um, but recently, uh, a HD version of the second game, Prince of Persia, The Shadow and the Flame, has been released on uh, iOS and on Android. So if you have devices supporting either of those systems, you know, an iPad or a Android phone or tablet, then uh, definitely check that out. I've never actually played the sequel. I could never track down a an MS DOS copy back in the day. I didn't have a Mac, so I have no idea where I'm going here. We're just kind of walking along. Uh, okay. So we, not only do we have to go through a guillotine here, we then have to watch your head, Prince. We then have to fight this guy. And he's probably gonna knock us into the guillotine. Ow. Stab him. Get him. Get him in his pink pajamas. Get him. Yeah. Good job, Mr. Prince. <laughs> yep, just jump up. Celebration. I killed the guy. Good job. Now get up there. Thank you. So. Let's go see what's to the left, I guess. Oh, it's that guy we saw earlier. Okay. Hello. Ow! That'll just take us back to the start, so we don't necessarily want to do that. So let's go and see what's this way. A spike trap of doom. Jump over that. Another angry man. We found the exit, but I don't know how to open it. Not that it matters, because we're dead. Okay. See how far back we have to go? All the way to the start. That's fine. Hello again, dude. Bye bye. We have 38 minutes left. Only 38. So let's not hang around here. Let's not die again, either. That'd be good. Jump over that. Run across here. Automatically open this gate, which is nice. Get the health upgrade that's guarded by the guillotine. Whoa. Now I'm drinking it from the left because I have a vague memory of drinking it from the right. When he leans back to drink it, the guillotine takes your head off. Uh, that might be a false memory, but 
I don't want to chance it. I die enough in these videos. So in case you haven't already figured it out, this is a long way from being a walkthrough video. Uh, I'm not good at this game, I never have been. Uh, like I said at the start of part one, I've only completed this game one single time. And we're going to try to do it this time. But I don't have a whole lot of hope. Let's uh, get through this part again. We had no trouble with it last time, so careful. Get your sword out and stab him! And stab him! And stab him! Stab him! No, don't get stabbed. Stab him! Thank you. Lost a little bit of health there, but that's fine. We have another fight just up here. To the left. But I still don't know how to open the exit. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna stab ya. Where's the princess? Okay, and we can go back this way. And then we gotta kill another guy. A lot of guys. With a lot of swords. And they're all very angry with me. I'm a little concerned about knocking him onto the pressure pad over on the right there. I'm kind of concerned it'll close the door behind us. I will not then be able to open the exit, so we'll jump over that. Grab this Healy Potion. Glug, glug, glug. Making me thirsty, actually. We will see what's in the next room, and hopefully it's a button to open the exit. Okay, that might be. That might be the button that opens the exit. Now, how do we get to it? Oh, it's guarded by a guillotine. Of course it is. I kind of want to see what's down, actually. Hello? Oh. Secrets? Uh, I'm going to go see what that other button does before we go down there. Try not to get brutalated by the guillotine. Careful. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, man. That sucks. Do the whole level again. This game... This game really, really hates me. The last level, the super short level, we had a... Aw, oh, poo. <laughs> the last level, the super short level, we had the... little checkpoint save mid-level. Aw. Oh. Hey, who's this guy? There's like a... whole area down here. Hey, bro! Oh no. That was predictable. Let's try not to mess up on that doll this time. I think I was actually unable to get through that. Uh, because I, you know, I closed the door and I broke the, the loose panel that I needed to stand on after jumping over the, the closed door button. That's more like it. Let's go get the health upgrade. It, it occurs to me we don't really need to do this whole part of the the level here. But we do want to get that health upgrade. So while we don't need to do it, uh, it's pretty advisable that we do do it. But we're wasting a lot of time here, which I don't like. Yee! Oh. That was close. Let's 
let's uh, try to get through this uh, this time without any guillotines giving us close shaves. I'm going to stab that guy that's over here. Ow! Actually, maybe we can knock him onto the spikes. That'll be fun, right? Yeah! Blech. <laughs> How do you like it? I'm guessing he doesn't like it, but... Continuing on... I can grab this... health potion. <laughs> Haven't drank this one before, so... The prince jumps for joy, because he's an idiot. And... In this room, we have this guy again. Who, thus far, has given us no problems, despite his... Guillotine support. I hate those things. Oh, come on. Come on! Stop it. It's because I said you hadn't given us any problems, isn't it? You're extra determined to murder me now. There we go. Uh, I could go back and get that health potion, but... Any guillotine I can avoid going through... Uh, it's something I'm very much inclined to do. So now we've got to kill this guy with only two health. One health. I'm going to have to take our time a little bit here. Ah. You know, I really, really suck at this game. 32 minutes. We're approaching the halfway mark. And... We're not yet at the halfway point of the game. That is not good in anyone's book. I'm going to think about it a little bit as we play through again here, and see if there's any any dangerous situations we can possibly avoid. I'm thinking specifically that man we knocked onto the spikes before. Man, those things, they make me tense up so bad. <laughs> careful. Careful. Go! Okay, don't go. Go now! There we go. It's okay, we're safe. We're alive. We're alive and well. Ugh. We're really getting short on time here. But there's nothing we can really do about it right now. So let's just... try and get through this level. Hopefully make up some time on the next one. We're now at the halfway point for time. Uh, and we're still only on... what is it? Stage 4. Level 4 of 12. I wish this guy's AI was worse and he just like charge into the guillotine to try and kill you. Fortunately for 1989 or 1990 for this particular version, the AI is pretty good. They don't do anything too stupid. But I, I guess they're not having to make any complex decisions. So, okay, we're we're gonna go right this time. I'm gonna delay fighting that man. Hopefully, when we come back this way, if we have to come back this way, which I'm assuming we do. Uh, hopefully, we're in a position where we can defeat him easily. The trouble is, I don't know how to parry his shots. I don't know if the player can parry. I think all the player can do is dodge. Okay, we got him right before he got us there jump over that, because I don't want to close that door, in case I have to go back. Get this health potion, which I very, very desperately need. Teleport, apparently, and climb up. And, 
Oh yeah, I remember where we are now. I want to go see what that button does. That might be a waste of time, but it might also not be a waste of time. Because that might be the exit button. Go! Phew. And that is the exit button. See? You guys were all like, just go around. You don't need to go in there. Go! Yeah! So we've opened the door. The exit is up. But what is down? Health potion. Now, I'm thinking we might just go for the exit here. Nah, no guts, no glory, right? So what's down here? Secrets? Spikes? Oh. This game is such a troll. Oh, that was all just to waste my time. I hate you. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I also just punched my microphone a little bit. Oh, oh man. This game. All the way back to the start. This game is such a troll. Uh, <laughs> I am... I'm crushed. I really am. My childhood memories, my love of this game is crumbling around me. But oh well. We will carry on regardless. And pray we can make up some time, because... We're spending far too much time on these early stages here. Yep. But we know ways we can go to uh, avoid having to fight guys, and so all things going well this time. Uh, this should be a quick a quick last run through of this level. Hopefully. I really, really, really hope so. Because <sighs> this is embarrassing. But by now you know that I suck at games. I suck at this game uh, in particular. And we're, we're going to struggle through regardless. And I'm having fun, so that's all that really matters. And hopefully you're having fun too. So, we don't need to go left. We can just go right. And jump over some spikes. And stab a man. Yep. Let's just try and dispatch him. Ah. I hate these guys. They're they're all stabby and shit. I can't believe the game made us go so far out of the out of the way, and then it just showed us the exit. I can just imagine the. Uh, the game developer's face when he was making this. His troll face. What an asshole. But, we're, we're getting there. We just got this last guillotine to get through, and if we can, we should live and get on to the next stage, where we'll take a little break, and we'll be back with part three. 25 minutes left. 
and this is going terribly. But, like I said at the start, if we fail, if we run out of time, I will be starting again with the unlimited time hack, just so we can play through the game. Uh, there'll still be just as much fail. Oh, right, the mirror! I forgot about this. So this is kind of cool. Ready? Oop. I thought I just had to run through the thing. Maybe that's later. There we go. We jumped through the mirror and our reflection escaped. Which is never a good thing. So let's just get the hell out of here. Bling. Music change there. Level 5. 25 minutes left. I'm going to pause it here. I actually know the pause button now, so... Uh, thank you for joining me for part 2 of Let's Play Prince of Persia. Next time we do part 3, we'll probably run out of time, but we're on stage 5 now, and, uh, you know, we're failing a lot, but we're making progress. Let's see what happens next time. Once again, thank you for watching. I've been The Fish. See you next time.